Hello, welcome back to Steve's Retirement Corner. Retirement is nothing like vacation. And other misconceptions I had about retirement. <laughs> hey man, retirement is truly a personal journey. Everybody experiences it different and sees things different. And that's all this is, it's just my, my experiences, the way I see things now compared to what I was thinking about beforehand. Simple as that. And this daggone uh, retirement being like vacation, it didn't hold true for me. I never once thought about retirement the way I thought about vacation. It's never felt like it to me. Never. Not the first time. The only time it ever felt like uh, a vacation and retirement felt the same was before I left. The last few weeks I worked. And it, it was that excitement building. You know, you're ready to go. That, that that felt similar to vacation. Only thing is, retirement was probably ten times worse. I was ready, Doc. <laughs> so, I mean, it, I, I don't even see where they get that from. And how about, uh, same goes with them, seven Saturdays. It'd be just like seven Saturdays. That's baloney for me, too. Saturdays mean a whole lot different to you when you're working for a living, you know, you, you, uh, you're glad to get that day where you ain't got to get up and go into work. You know what I mean? I mean, that, that feels like a treasure. It just, does. I didn't get but one Saturday a month. I was off during a week on Tuesday and Thursday and stuff like that. And I thought I'd really get a kick out of having weekends off. But Saturday's no different than any other day to me, it's just like a Wednesday or a Tuesday or something. I, uh, but I need them daggone weekends. I'm working it just like a daggone job. I, uh, uh, and I do whatever I got to get done during the week, and I use the weekends to recharge. And sometimes I need the weekend. You know, you know what happens? I get into during the week, I mean, Come Friday at 5 o'clock, I'm ready to call it quits. <laughs> and I'll use Saturdays for knocking around. You know, maybe me and the baby run off the junk store. Or I'll catch a cowboy movie or maybe watch a ball game before I go to, go to bed or whatever. And then come Sunday about 5 o'clock, about the time, time we eat dinner. Man, all I can think about is Monday. Now I can't wait for it to get here. Because there ain't no telling what I get into for during the week. <laughs> I mean, I could be doing anything. You know, going down to the junkyard, getting a part for the car, going to the river. You know, I could run into somebody at the store, I don't know, or whatever. I mean, it, it could be a, a host of things. When's the last time you look forward to a Monday when you work? You know, you get that little feeling down in the pit of your gut down there. Man, I got to get up in a few hours and go to work again. Even when I loved a job, I never looked forward to going to it. I worked for two reasons, money and insurance. I didn't need no prestige or anything, no pat on the back or whatever. That's really the only reason I work. I mean, I had to. So, I mean, yeah, that seven Saturdays thing didn't really hold true for me either. Oh, and happiness. Happiness in retirement. Oh, my goodness. Down there, I can't honestly say that I'm any happier now than before I retired. I can't. I mean, we had a good life when I before I retired. I was happy then. It's, uh, you know, maybe it's a, a different, uh, level of happiness or something. I don't know. But I can't honestly say retiring made me happy. It did. I was happy already. It was a relief. It, um, I'm happy that I did retire. I'm glad every day that I ain't got to get up and go into work. You're darn right. 
I'm happy I get to spend more time doing what what I'd rather be doing than having to do what the man tells me to do. You know, I'm glad I did retire and happy, but I don't think my love of happiness jumped that day on much. I believe being happy in retirement has a lot to do with uh, how happy you were before. If you were miserable before and then you retire, you're just going to be miserable and broke and unemployed. You know, that's the way I look at it. If you were happy with your life beforehand and retirement's just going to it's going to increase it or it's going to nothing's going to change. I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, I don't know. It's a lot more. I mean, I could sit here and talk for an hour about the differences. But I think what helped me, honestly, I think was that month of January where I could practice retirement for a month for my actual date. So by the time February 1st come here, I was already, you know, three sheets to the wind, Doc. I was going. Be my guess. I don't know. But I had no trouble with the transition. But I never had no honeymoon phase either. Not the first time. You know, when I left work, when I left the guard shack that day from handing my, my badge in, I closed the book on my work life and was excited to start my new job, which was retirement. Because retirement is a lot more work than you figure on. You know, I no longer work work for the chemical company. I work for Baby Incorporated. She's a lot more lenient with my time than, than they were. And uh, they, uh, the benefits are a lot better. <laughs> so, I mean... I was eager to start my new job. I was ready to learn a new job. And that's what I'm doing now. So, I don't know. Look, they, um, I got one name for this, for next week's uh, cowbell. If anybody else wants to have the cowbell rung for their uh, retirement this past month, just leave me a note in the comments. And uh, otherwise, there'll be a, uh, the one and only this week, next week. <laughs> you know, as miserable as it is out here today, it's rainy, it's cool. It's been raining all morning. Just quit about 30 minutes ago. And, uh, you know, I'd still be rather sitting here talking to this camera than doing anything that had me do at work. Anything. <laughs> sort of like fishing, you know, bad day fishing is still better than a good day at work. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, y'all be good, and we'll talk to y'all later. Enjoy your weekend.